Here we will give an overview of the function of each button and menu on the node controller. In the second part, we will describe each menu and setting procedure in detail. Before installing your automatic flushing device, it is highly recommended that you flush the water line free of debris before attaching the unit. The curved arrow button is the main menu button. This will allow you to maneuver from one menu to the next. The right and left arrow button will allow you to maneuver between each section within a current viewed menu. The plus and minus button will allow you to change the setting within each section of the current viewed menu. The PRG, or otherwise known as a program button, will allow you to set days, time, and duration to flush for separate programs of A, B, and C. Each controller has an automatic sleep mode. To wake up the controller, you will push the main menu button. In order to move through the menus easier, you may want to start at the home menu that shows the current time, day arrow, and battery life. You will press the main menu button to move to the next menu. The second menu allows you to set the current time and day of the week. The third menu allows you to set the flushing start times. The fourth menu allows you to set the duration of flushing time or the length of flushing. The fifth menu allows you to set the days of the week that you would like to flush. The sixth menu allows you to set for season adjustment by increasing or decreasing the flush times on all menus. And the seventh menu will allow you to shut off your controller without affecting your previously set options so it will not continue to flush. In this tutorial, we will describe how to set each menu and setting procedure in detail. Before installing your automatic flushing device, it is highly recommended that you flush the water line free of debris before attaching the unit. To set current date and time, press the main menu button to wake up the controller. Then press the main menu button until the current time day icon is displayed. The first set of numbers that you should see represents the current year. If the year is incorrect, you will then use the plus or minus button to adjust as necessary. Once the year has been set, push the right arrow key to maneuver to the next section of the menu. The next set of numbers represents the month and date. The month should be flashing. Press the plus or minus key to set the current month. Now push the right arrow key to move to the date. If at any time you are in a menu and need to move your cursor back, you will press the left arrow key. Now you will push the plus or minus button to move the numbers for the date. Once the date has been set, you can then push the right arrow key again to advance to the next setting, setting the current time. The cursor will be on the AM PM 24 hour setting. Press the plus or minus button to change the setting to the desired period. Once the period has been set, press the right arrow key to move the cursor to the hour. The current hours will be flashing. Press the plus or minus button to change the setting to the desired hour. Now press the right arrow button to switch the minutes indicator. Minutes will be flashing. Use the plus or minus button to change the setting to the desired minutes. Now press the right arrow button. This will move back to the year. Current time setting has been completed. This setting has been updated compared to the old controller. Because the year, month, and date has been set, the controller automatically sets the day of the week. We are now ready to move the third menu. To set flushing start times, press the main menu button until the start time icon is displayed. Please notice that the node controller has a new feature to set separate programs. Each program, programs A, B, and C, can be obtained by pushing the PRG program button. Again, this feature allows different flush time, durations, and date intervals. To set the first program A with the first flush time, the controller screen will need to show 1A and the start time icon. Press and hold the plus or minus button to change the start time. If another start time needs to be set, press the right arrow button and 2A will show the controller screen. You will be able to select up to four flushing times per scheduled program. 
If a different program needs to be added, press the PRG program button. You will notice that A changes to B, and when pressed again, B will change to C. All three programs in this menu will allow up to four flush times per schedule program by pressing the right arrow key. Once the flush times have been scheduled, return your screen to the first program and first flush time, 1A. To eliminate a start time, press the right arrow button until the selected flush time is displayed. Press the plus or minus button until you reach off located between 11.55 p.m. and 12 a.m. midnight. Once the flush times have been scheduled, edited, or removed, return your screen to the first program and first flush time 1A. To set the duration of flushing time or the length of flushing, press the main menu button until the current time day icon is displayed. The display will flash the flushing duration time. Press and hold the plus or minus button to increase or decrease length of flushing time. Duration of flushing time can be set from 1 minute up to 6 hours, equaling 24 hours in a day when maximum flush times and duration is set in a specified program. In this menu, you have the ability to choose different durations for your program set in programs A, B, and C by pressing the PRG program button. Only one duration time can be set per program. Once the desired durations have been set, move the screen back to the first program time 1A before moving to the next menu. Press the main menu button until the current day icon is displayed. On the days of the week menu, you will see a black arrow on the screen that points down to the initials for each day of the week on the face of the controller. There is also an option for flushing on odd days, even days, and flushing at intervals. Press the minus button to cancel flushing on that day or plus to allow flushing on that day. When pressing the minus or plus button, the cursor will automatically move to the next day or you can press the right arrow key to advance to the next day. The selected days will show a black arrow above the day that flushing will occur and a blank space above the days showing that flushing will not occur. All of your changes will be automatically saved. This menu also allows for the three different program settings A, B, and C. In order to set up a second or third program, you will press the PRG program button to move to the next program and follow the steps listed above. When you are finished setting all the days of the week and desired programs, press the program button and return to a program before moving to the following menu. Press the curved arrow button until the seasonal adjustment percent icon is displayed. Cupferly recommends keeping this menu at 100%. However, this selection is available if a flushing adjustment needs to occur due to seasonal conditions. The seasonal adjustment menu allows a user to adjust the percentage of flush duration in all programs without changing all or some of the individual settings by pressing the plus or minus arrow. The last menu will allow you to completely shut off the controller without affecting the previously set options. When on the shut off menu, after waiting a few seconds, you will see the words off flash. Once this happens, leave the controller as is and it will go into sleep mode. The controller will have to sleep within this menu to be successful in shutting down. Please remember this is a shut off mode. If the controller is allowed to go to the off mode or fall asleep in this menu, the controller will shut down and will not run the set program. This menu is available where flushing has to be stopped over a long period of time. The unit can be shut down without losing any settings and saving the battery. When flushing is ready to resume, the controller will need to wake up. You can wake up the controller by pressing the main menu button. Let the controller fall asleep on the home menu and your previously scheduled program will resume. When conducting a manual test flush, you will press the main menu button and wake up the controller. Go to the home menu that will show you the current time, battery life, and day of the week. 
Press and hold the right arrow button until you see a small open hand on the screen. Once you see the hand, release the button. The controller will count to 10 until the test flush begins. The controller will run for as long as the duration set time is scheduled. If you would like to interrupt the flush time, you can either press the minus button to decrease the flush time, or you can press the main menu button and maneuver to the shutoff menu and let the controller go to shutoff mode. Please don't forget that once the controller shuts off, wake up your controller again by hitting the main menu key. Otherwise, your controller will not flush during the regularly scheduled times. Allow the controller to fall asleep on the main menu only in order to continue your regularly scheduled programming.